Hi friends, uh, I'm re-recording again because um, I spoke around 6 minutes and when I stopped video, audio was not recorded. So yesterday, one of my subscribers, uh, she wrote an email, then I connected over Skype call and uh, just to test whether uh, haters or followers, I see them on a video call unless they speak truth, right? That's how and uh, I generally I ask uh, why do you watch my videos then uh, or what keywords you typed to get my videos this is uh, my curiosity just uh, general uh, I never requested in the past to subscribe but to please subscribe my youtube channel because my count of youtube channel stopped in 13,000 in uh, 2016 year so for testing purpose I request everyone to subscribe one Point two, some people are writing my English is bad. I don't understand um, because English is not my first language. My first language is Telugu in India. South, I'm from South part of India. So North part of India, Hindi is the primary language. And then for the South part of India, Hindi is the secondary language and uh, English is the third language and French and Sanskrit also I learned. So I can't help it if it is bad because my displaced Americans, American friends are able to understand. This video is for uh, non-Telugu speakers, especially in uh, USA and India who are following me. This video is informative to you. And um, she wrote, oh, all is going well on your end. I'm actually a first generation Indian American. Came to the uh, States at a very young age. I've been watching your YouTube videos for past three years now. Somehow I feel very much connected with your content. I may not have faced the same challenges as an immigrant, like a non-immigrant H1B and all will face, but I have also seen and witnessed many things. So then we connected and uh, then I spoke to uh, one and a four for various uh, topics. And out of which I thought of um, tell you uh, some of the points with quoting examples from my life too. Um, thank you for your time. I feel happy I can share about such topics with someone who understands. Please feel free to address what we have talked about you in your videos. If you can mention these particular ones, it would be great. First point is work-life balance, personal versus professional life. In America, like um, for example, I 16 years I struggled, I've been struggling or an H1B for example. And uh, how, how is my son or children face the life or what is their witness in the society? Is what something like this video or the interview that I have experienced yesterday. And uh, there is no mix between personal life and uh, professional life in USA. So when she apply for PTO, paid time off, nobody will ask questions. Whereas Indian managers in USA, Indian employers in USA, Indian bosses in a India also will ask and scold you. To quote an example, when I was in government, government there are two, three types of posts. One is contract, hire and fire. Another is a sanction post, neither contract nor regular. Another is a regular post. So when my son, first son was born, I asked, I went to my immediate supervisor and he, he I asked him, my, I have a new son born, I want to visit uh, my son. Then he was putting face like, hey, get out. He was talking like this. So that is how Indian managers will ill-treat Indian employees or team members. To quote another example, it was Aztecsoft at that time, the company name. Now it's called Mindtree and LNT. So my name is at that time, it is PK, like, right? P. Kumar. My immediate supervisor is a Tamilian, his name is KP. He hates me a lot whenever I leave at 6 p.m. from the work, 8 a.m. entrance, right? Check in. 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. He said, what do you do after going home? What the fuck? Why do you need, man? You, uh, My duty is over, right? No, you have to stay till midnight and work. So that's our Indian boss's attitude is. So people raised here, Indian students. 
uh, they are very fortunate enough. But she told there is regret that they, they miss India. But when talk to cousins in India, they think that people in America are super rich. Lots of money, money, money. Sorry, excuse me. The second point, I have asked like, why do your parents came to America or why? Like, I was thinking like, dream America. So Indians and Hindus get confused when they move abroad is what I understand from the online posts and videos. Second point she raised is status building rather than building a lifestyle. This is what she noticed and uh, I can quote a lot of examples here. In um, New Jersey one professor came from India. He said uh, there is a BMW group like those who have BMW only they will invite for parties. And uh, unfortunately Indians here treated Indians has three classes. One is super rich who have million billion dollars houses. The second is who have subdivisions, who live in Indian community. It's called subdivisions like um, all uh, two-story houses. It's almost like um, not big, not expensive. It is 200 to 500k in between. So they are middle class, they are called. The third is people like me living in apartments called poor people. The fourth, they don't even consider 25 members, F1 students live in one room, right? One apartment. So that's how, um, and uh, to quote an example, 2011 to 15 in between, my first son was telling when I was driving in the car, right? I, the record camera is on. My son's uh, classmate, one of the girl asked, Indian girl asked him, does your father as a house? Then he said no. Then uh, she told her father has a house, so she is rich. Your fa your dad is poor. He might be one to fifth grade in between my son. And then I was emotional. I told him, tell that stupid uh, stupid girl that if his father die, the mom and uh, both have to sit and cry on the road. But if I die, you, bo you and mom can go to India. There is a fundamental difference between having house and not having house. But later I realized that's not the right answer and uh, the girl came to know that much information. It's because the parents were talking in front of the children. This kind of stupidity like Indians. We moved to America but we don't know why we move. We again bring back all the caste system, status symbols, everything. So that's what she mentioned, she observed. And when Indians invite her for parties, when, they, uh, when she wears uh, Indians made of gold, if it's a rolled gold, they detect it is a gold or rolled gold. And then, then skin color, mostly Indians like fair skin. If it's little dark, they um, do show a lot of racism. And STEM degree, right? Most of them B.T.E.C. computers. If you study in non-B.T.E.C., then treatment is different. So these are the kind of uh, status Indians are uh, bring, uh, bringing and building here rather than building a lifestyle. So the next point, competition with peers, create healthy friendship and relationship into unhealthy ones. That is casting couch. When I wrote about casting couch in uh, online, one in, a guy written from my uh, USA worked in IBM. He cried. We have a common friend on Facebook. Kumar is telling them that fellow doesn't know casting coach means any person in a hiring position when the opposite sex come for an interview offering a job asking a sexual favor is called casting coach I heard this word in 2006 to 8 when I was out working in outsourcing companies in India if I'm not generalizing it I'm against generalization if the female IT worker in India sleeps with the project manager or delivery manager or a manager who can send her to US on F1, H1, sorry, H1, B1, L1, then casting or sleeping, right? Then they give her a reference. So this is what uh, I quote the examples. And uh, when I say this, some people they cry and then they don't understand it's only for film industry, uh, something like that. 
that's what uh, she mentioned but healthy competition should be there and uh, another example is uh, f1 international students right out of 50 only one position is for uh, campus placement but what do the rest of the 49 go so whoever involved in that casting course will get that for on campus job so these are the things uh, i told in the previous videos not sure but i'm just giving an example another one need to feed uh, need to feel and accepted and respected by others even if they are strangers so that's what uh, she told point and uh, green card and then i explained trump wants to cut the green card family chain migration like uh, when she went to one house and um, uh, both of the couple are it workers drawing 100k 200k whatever the k they brought their uh, mother from india that is a man h1b man and the girl is a daughter-in-law right the daughter-in-law is a they just went to see the newly born baby but the daughter-in-law forcing her mother-in-law to do uh, dishwasher washing machine cleaning uh, mopping and uh, taking care of i was think i explained to that uh, person about 10 years visa given six months visit like that but um, they didn't bring the father-in-law so but they are used i was thinking it's only for babysitting and all these indian parents indian in-laws who visit on visit visa they replace the local uh, professional babysitters one because it costs thousand to two thousand dollars a month so they are bringing their in-laws and uh, any of such people old people watch my video call 911 and report about your children making you to do slavery on visit visas and the forcibly they are doing and then they are sponsoring the green card also it seems yes and they become a US citizen uh, the children so what they are doing they are forcing them to do all this slavery on visit visa which is illegal and uh, violation of uh, laws right international laws or whatever the immigration issues and when she visit Indian groceries it's full of uh, F1 students everywhere these days I also said I don't want to name in Michigan any of the Indian groceries but if you visit you will see all of them are Indian international students on F1 visa working for uh, five dollars an hour and uh, abused by the Indian grocery owners and America is for dollars America is for green card America is for uh, US citizenship that point also I told clearly and uh, next one gold yeah when she visit in India people die for gold they buy a lot of gold and uh, um, it's a goosebump idea uh, goosebump uh, I got when she was telling why do you buy gold I want to visit Europe something like that why people die for gold so that's a good point that's one and um, being middle class in USA yeah, and uh, uh, that's another problem uh, Indian community I'm telling so um, that's one and a big uh, the super rich family uh, got a big money then I said the big companies do big scams and uh, it's a false perception and how do they get money she asked then I said consultancies Indian start and they eat money they do not pay salaries like you have seen right in the past my history and um, they eat money and uh, in India they don't know they probably say my son is working in Microsoft, Amazon, something like that but they don't know what the companies they do crime right that's what I was referring and uh, it doesn't mean that I'm not hurting anyone I'm just giving an example the bigger companies big, big crime will be there but the parents of these children feel proud. My son is in America. And another important point I forgot in Telugu video is like, uh, uh, she saw her cousins coming on masters. They don't know what's heck going on here. They have a better life in India. When they were employees of uh, Indian outsourcing companies, they lead a better life there. But thinking that life in America is great and they came here and it is the worst life they are facing. Only just ending dollar saying in America is the uh, only happiness they have. And I quoted an example uh, like uh, what you call 
25,000 H1B is, is there for two, 200k F1 visas given. So the, where do rest of them go? It is uncertain and H1B is not for merit or talent. O visa is for talent. It's all luck. So that is what. And another example, it's not a Google company. It's kind of a Google big company in a, in a location and uh, has been drawing to 70k. Almost made it 300k and um, position is opened but they doesn't want to promote anybody in the team nor hire americans nor uh, why merit he want to bring his wife or buddies cast people then i ask question um, what about the cast meetings did you visit the young generation may not know that is tana ata nata all indian people including gujaratis punjabis everybody the Lynx Christians, all of them form groups here basically to hire their people. And uh, next topic, uh, she told, she noticed uh, diverse, lot of diverse are taking place after getting green card because of, for freedom. Uh, and India or Asia is a male dominated society, so they don't want a male to dominate here after getting green card. One and another point is even Chinese uh, Americans do babysitting forcibly by uh, their grandparents or uh, whatever but in india the problem with indians is they are bringing in right for 10 years the visa is given it doesn't mean that every six months you exit the country come back in and do uh, house cleaning mopping um, uh, dishwasher and then what cooking cleaning cleaning of toilets and babysitting. This is not meant for uh, visit visa for uh, 60 and uh, 70 years old mother, mother-in-law or father, father-in-law, right? That is what Indians are practicing it. But the Americans and Chinese, they are here already, right? So, uh, and again, they are bringing only one person in the couple. The other father has to stay alone in India. So, if such people on visit visa watching this video, I don't think you have access to internet and a phone. Then call 911, tell about your son or son-in-law, daughter or daughter-in-law saying that they bring you on visit visa and then they made you to do slavery. Just like there was a ready case recently, right? They bought a relative and put him in a closed rooms and made him to do slavery. So basically, Indian parents are doing slavery and uh, the next generation do not know why the Indi their parents are uh, Indians moving from India to here. The life in India is best, is what the kids realize and um, there is a regret. I ask, do you regret you miss India? Yes. And uh, second point, the cousins in India think that uh, uh, she is rich or people in America are rich. But ground reality, you know, right? Thank you. And this is what I told in uh, Telugu. I don't know. Some people are writing. My English is bad. It's okay. Fine. I'll try to improve if my English is bad. Thank you.